new Western Sydney Airport, Sydney Metro Line, provides a really great opportunity to deliver some really unique, architecturally significant landmarks, which will also be vibrant community hubs. To achieve this, we've established some design objectives, which will be used to guide the decision making as we design our stations and the precincts around them, with an aim to improve the local community and offer a lasting legacy for Western Sydney. Our station design focuses on the customer. We aim for them to be places which are really easy and intuitive to move around. Our stations will be fully accessible and will be as filled with natural light as possible, as well as being architecturally unique. They'll include really practical elements, like lots of shade and cover for our customers, but also unique things like public art. Really good wayfinding and signs will ensure that the stations are easy to move around and navigate and intuitive to use. We'll also work with the local councils to ensure that not just the station but the public domain really integrates well with the local community it's going to serve. Safety is absolutely a priority for Sydney Metro and in fact the Sydney Metro product includes some really unique safety features like platform edge barriers which ensure that people and objects are kept well away from the tracks. When designing our stations we'll also keep safety and security in mind with lots of light, um, ensuring that there aren't obscured areas and of course lots of security cameras. Sydney Metro will design the station, the transport interchange, the urban landscaping, as well as the rail corridor and service facilities needed to ensure that the railway operates really effectively, but we also deliver great outcomes for the communities. New metro stations always provide broader opportunities for the community, and we will be, of course, investigating, delivering precinct and station development around the metro for Western Sydney Airport. In particular, we're looking at potential developments in the station and precinct areas of St Mary's and Orchard Hills. Any future development around Luddenham and the Aerotropolis will be considered as part of the Western Sydney Aerotropolis Plan, which is being developed by the Western Sydney Planning Partnership. We're looking to the future and we will make decisions for some of those stations and precincts to integrate better with the local community through providing developments which will deliver things like new housing, green spaces, community facilities and commercial office space. Any future precinct or station development will be subject to future planning approvals and therefore lots more community and stakeholder engagement. Sydney Metro always engages with local community and stakeholders to ensure that the stations and precincts that we design and build really integrate with the local community and provide thriving hubs for them to meet and to go about their work, life and play. The new Western Sydney Airport Metro will form part, just one part of an overall integrated transport network that includes the existing Sydney Trains Western Line, which we'll interchange with at St Mary's, as well as the local bus network and of course those point-to-point -point modes like taxis, rideshare and kiss and ride. Technology is going to keep our customers connected at every step of their journey, whether it's at their home when they're using the journey planning app or through real-time information provided at the stations and on the train. We know that technology and being connected is a really important part of providing our customers a smooth and easy end-to-end -end journey. I'm really excited to have the opportunity to work with the local community to bring a new metro service to Western Sydney.